Everybody, MC John V1 here with a another uh, redstone tutorial, and um, this is a combo lock, color coded combination lock. Um, I'll show you all of my designs that I came up with first, and then I'll show you how to make it and stuff like that and how it works. So I came up with this first, and um, it was too like big, too wide. I wanted to make these uh things every one like it is on the final design so like it'd be a a color and then one block and then a color uh and then yeah and then I'll, that's because i had the the color which is what you see and then this glass and black oh, oh, hey. oh my god Okay. Um, sorry if it's like staggering. I don't know why it's doing that. But um, yeah, what was I saying? This glass and then black wool right there. It's because that's right next to this, which is the color coordination. Oop, which one did I break? And eh, who cares? And then this is the one I came up with next. And I thought that it would be stackable if I had it too wide like this, but it was not. So I came up with this, which is one wide. And then this, which is the AND gate part. It's um, just one, it's just comes off the edge and it doesn't matter if they cross over. And I'll show you why later. Why is it doing this? There we go. There we go. Maybe. I don't know. But, um, so the combination for this one is black and light blue. So the white I made default. And, yeah. So let's make go to black and light blue. Oh, that's cyan and light blue. So then there's the output. And this can be stacked however far you want pretty much um, and then so yeah that's there there you go output you can connect that to a door or something and then this button resets it back to white white and that is that's not necessary you can just manually reset it if you want to but I'll show you how to build the reset link to it so let's look at how it works so you click this button and um, it then goes into this right here, which just takes the signal down to right here, which is a monostable circuit. It creates a one-tick pulse, which then sends power into this piston, which is part of this piston tape. Let's get this out of the way, which is part of this piston tape right here. And then it sends this piston tape around um, this way. So clockwise from this view. And then it also sends this piston tape, which is like the decoder part, and it sends it counterclockwise. No, it still sends it clockwise. Um how does it do this? It goes through a bunch of different signals. So right here this piston's on one tick along with this piston, so like the cross pistons are synced, so top and bottom and then right and left, so it should go, like, I want to just point it at my screen trying to make it look, um, so look at my mouse right here, it goes, so it goes down, over, up, over, but it really goes like down and up at the same time and then over and over at the same time, so yeah. Let's see if we can see that. I don't know if you saw it here. Let's try to get it from this side. That should do it. Yeah, see? 
These two, actually, the top, my, they're one tick different, and I had to make it like that. But that's not that big of a deal. It still all works. Um, let me fix this back up. There we go. That doesn't have to be a stair. I just didn't want to go grab sandstone. Um, what else? So, yeah, the piston tapes all connect. And then... This black part, which is the decoder part, it sends it into this, which is an AND gate, and then this is the output of the AND gate. So, even if, the like, this is always powered, and it sends power to this block, except when it's glass, it turns it off, and when all of the glass is, is lined up, it um, turns on, it makes the AND gate work, I guess. Um, and then, but if one of them is, if two are next to each other and one of them is glass, but the other one isn't, um, so if this one's glass over here, let me go make this a light blue. Um, so light blue, so this is glass. So then this one shouldn't be powered, but it is powered by this one, but it doesn't really matter because it's just, it's not, the output shouldn't be on, so it doesn't really matter. And then as soon as you get all of the glass, they all just, oh, I gotta go the other way. Kind of slow process, but whatever. I think it's cool. So there's that glass lined up. So then all, both of those lines are turned off, which turns on the end gate. This torches the output. So I'm gonna get my stuff together, and then we will build it. I'm just gonna extend it off to the side here, and then we'll talk about the reset part in a second after I build this. So here we go. Okay, I have all that I need. So I oops, I'll finish the roof later. I extended it out one more thing. Um I made these half half slabs just so I can tell which one is next. And it just kinda looks nicer. Um so here's what we're gonna do. So the button is right above there, so you just or no it's right above there. Put a block there. I'm going to put all the blocks and then we can go back and finish the, like, do the rest of it later. The redstone part. I just wanted my half slabs to be next to it. So then you got to put an upside down half slab there, um, which is for the reset part later, but might as well have it there. And then, uh, that can be normal block. And then... I'll put the pistons in also. Sticky piston there, block, and blocks like that. Uh, I'm wondering why it's all like laggy like that. Hmm. Whatever. Um, blocks like that. Half slab. Or no, that doesn't have to be half slab, but it is over there because I was messing around with the design. So that can be a block. Block there block there and then um, down here we come down one get a block like that two and then half slab for the reset block 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 keep on taking it up here I'm gonna turn up the sound so you know we can placing blocks and then half slab half slab and half slab. And another half slab. Um, and then, let's see if I can remember this. Oh, I guess you keep going up with the half slabs. All the way up to there. And then you go one more. And you do that just so that it doesn't create a bud switch with, doesn't bud this, um, this piston block block 
like that, and then blocks like that, and like that. So now that we got this rough outline, it should look something like that, and then let's put the pistons in. These are just normal pistons, just in there, just in there, a piston there, no, right there, underneath there, and then a piston here. And then we're going to want to put a piston right there, right there, there, and like that. So now that we're like this, we got that all done. <clears throat> Let's just uh, put this fence gate here so we don't need it anymore. And we don't need the pistons either. I'm done with pistons. So. Um, let's see, what else, now let's do the redstone, so, redstone there, repeater there, redstone, repeater, repeater, and then, you know, redstone, and then a repeater on two ticks, redstone, 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 all the way over here, repeater, and then just take redstone up this, Like that, all the way over here. Put a repeater on two, and then redstone. And then a repeater on two takes with delay. Um, that should be it, I think. Let's see if all the pistons fire. That piston didn't fire. So I forgot that redstone right there. Which powers those two pistons? There you go. Now let's, now here is when you need to decide what colors you're going to use. So you can clear out this. And then what I'm going to use is just these. Or, uh, I guess I'll use the ones that I already have. Oops, I'll put that black there. So just select all those. And then you can decide which one you want your um, which one you want yours to be. So let's say we want this one to be white, and I'll tell you why. So white is going to be right there. Um, and then what you want to do is continue them in. So after white, there's red, and then pink, and magenta. Or I guess that's just purple. No, nope, that's magenta. And then light blue, cyan, purple, and did I miss one? Oh yeah, whoops, take those out. Cyan, purple, and black. Here we go. So that should all shuffle as it should. And then let's put in this part. So what you're going to do is if this one is, the top one is on the left here. You want the top one to be on the right, so one, two, three, four. It's kind of hard to see that because there's black behind it. And then um, one, two, three, four. And then right here, you're going to want to take that block and make it glass. And then now let's put in this repeater. So you go here, and you go. Snatch that. Right there, that has to be a repeater. And then, let's see how that powers it. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, let me go grab this lever. Oh. So, you want a lever, and you just power that block right behind. Oh, geez, I swear I double tapped. Um, and put the lever right there so that that is powered. And now we continue out the um, the end gate. So right there, here, here. Put a block there, and then so that it doesn't cross. Block here, like that. And then you can just fix it there. Just do that. And then this has to be a repeater, just so that those don't cross. And then let me grab redstone. 
So redstone right through here. So now this should all be done and good. There you go. So what was it? It was white. Um, white. Just so I remember. Let's see if the light turns on when I click this button. Light on. All works just fine. If you're not known how I'm selecting these blocks, the middle button selects the block you're looking at. So like the scroll button. Okay, so now let's talk about the reset. So what this does is it resets everything back to white. And um, it does that by running this clock, which is these blocks right here. And then um, you just grab these materials. So it runs a clock for a very long time here, which is this is a pulse um, extender, one wide pulse extender, and um, so. If white is so, let's say, so this one's black. So it's black. Oh, I should pick this one. So to get white back in its thing, it's going to have to go from here back to here, but it has to go all the way around. And since there's eight blocks, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it needs to go seven, it needs to be pushed seven times. And then for this light blue one, it needs to be pushed, I think four it was, yeah, four. And um, so down here, I have, for all of the different times, it needs to be pushed. So one, two, through seven. And that's all you need because, like for this example, I chose white as the, the one I wanted to be. So I wouldn't have to actually press anything. Um, <clears throat> so there just wouldn't be a reset part because it just wouldn't work. But if it is anything from one to, or actually, if you have one, you don't need the clock because you just click it once and it goes back. But if you need anything from two to seven, you need the clock and I'll show you how to build that right now. So you go here, here, here. There, you make an X like that, and go one, up, and then like that, and then you run redstone here, here, and then like that, and then repeater on one, and then a repeater on two, takes a delay. So there you go, and then to do the pulse. Or I didn't put the torch yet because then it would just start cycling. So what I'm going to do is put this torch here to turn off this torch. I know I don't need it for the white, but I'm doing it just to show you. So, if you have one... If you need one, then what you do, rather than sending this line which is the reset line what was i saying so yeah if it's one then it just you can just put it right into here into this block so you can just kind of run it right into there or it'd probably be easier to go this way because if it's on like the second or third or however many you just go like that repeater into there and then run the line like that. And that's if it's one. So you wouldn't need the actual clock for that, which is this. Um, and then if it's zero, again, you just don't need the clock. So let's go down here. Let's say 
it is 2, then you just need a one tick repeater into the clock, into that block right there, which is which is this block. So that block right here. <clears throat> and then if you need to go 3 to get back to default, you do something that looks like this. And then for something that looks like this, with that many repeaters on those delays, five, same thing with this. And uh, this download will be in the description, so you can just download the world, come check it out if you forget. Um, but I'll show them anyway. So six is going to look like this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With the last one on two. And the block's looking like that. And you have to have, these have to be either glowstone or half slabs because this is just so that it doesn't create an infinite loop and just stay on because redstone cannot travel down off of a half slab, but it can go up. Up. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and then seven is, looks like that. So, the black one needed 7, and then the light blue one needed 4, so it's like that. And then this one doesn't need anything, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And that is it. So, white, black. Light blue, and you are good. So, I'll put a world download, this exact world, in the description. Um, I'll make a spawn point like right here or something and actually I'll just make it where it's um so we just started raining hard Ryan jeez okay well if you like the video then why not leave a like if you enjoy it um how about if you want to subscribe for more videos because I'm building some awesome stuff I took a break on my dominant on my PvP map to make this video for you guys. And uh, the PvP map, man, it's it's looking sweet. It's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to play it. But um thanks for watching guys and see you later. One more quick thing guys, I forgot to I just thought of this as soon as I stopped recording. I was gonna make this into an AND gate. The reset button into an AND gate with the output. So if the output is on, then it, it makes it possible to reset it. But if the output is off, it doesn't. It just makes it whatever. So if the output is on, let's make it on. Quick. There we go. It should work. Okay, thanks for watching again, guys. Um, yeah, see ya.